everyone, Aaron here. Welcome to another episode of Gideon's Tactical. Today, we got with us the Shrade Skax 4 is what we got here. It is a tactical tomahawk and a large tactical tomahawk at that. So uh, today, we're going to go ahead and we're going to do some wood processing. I have zero skills with tactical tomahawk use. So I'll just kind of talk more uh, about philosophy here in just a second of what this is designed for. Uh, you know, it's sold to you as a tactical tomahawk. So it's, you know, designed for, you know, military slash hand-to-hand -hand combat. Um, and if you're not doing that, it's probably not going to excel very much for you. But uh, I want to give you a couple basic specs. We'll do some testing against some wood. And then uh, we'll wrap up this video on the Schrade Okay, let's look at a few of the specs on the Skax 4. What you have is a blade length from edge to edge, or tip to tip, of 3.3 inches. So you got some good spanning width there. It is powder coated 3CR13 stainless steel. So that is, you know, definitely a budget steel. It's definitely designed, you know, it's from China. This is Chinese made. Uh, it, you know, it's definitely very tough though. And Schrade has done a really good heat treat on this because uh, it is very difficult to resharpen, which means that it's very tough. Uh, and I've had zero with all, and you can see I've really thrashed on this thing today. With all the hard use that I've done with this, I have seen zero chipping or rolling of the 3CR13 um, steel. So that's really good. Uh, you know, sure, we'd love to see like SK5, um, like some of the other Schrade axes have, uh, or, you know, some form of high carbon like 1075 or, you know, 5160 or something like that. But that's going to cost obviously a lot more. And they're trying to hit a price point over there at Schrade and get this in your hands at a reasonable price. The price point right now, last I checked, was $37. Um, you know, so that's not bad for, for what you're getting if you're looking for a tactical tomahawk. Overall length from the head to the bottom of the handle, covered up by that pine cone, is 17 and a half inches. Uh, the handle itself length is 15.8 inches. The handle is nylon fiber with paracord wrap around the full tank construction. This is one piece of steel all the way through coated by uh, a nylon fiber. That's what the shred that you see here and the etching and stuff and then paracord wrap for the handle. But this is one piece of 3CR13 uh, steel. That's what that is. Then uh, we have a nylon sheath we'll talk about. Very basic little nylon sheath there. And then it weighs uh, one pound, 11 ounces. So definitely over a pound and a half of weight. So it's definitely got a little bit of weight coming down, crashing down onto either an enemy or a piece of wood. So let's go ahead, get out there, start using the Skax 4. I'm going to talk philosophy here really quick. Uh, the Skax 4 is designed as a tomahawk. They you know, sell it to you as a tomahawk, and tomahawks are designed to be fighting weapons. They are not designed to be you know, woods, choppers, and axes. If you want that, go with either one of Shrade's other uh, you know, camp axes, or go with a Fiskars, or go with a Mora axe, or you know, upgrade to a well uh, Weddington's, or whatever. Um, but... Uh, this is not designed to be a wood processing tool. You can do some light wood processing, and that's, you know, I, I, have, I have no skills with uh, tactical tomahawk use. So I'm just showing you some of the capabilities of wood processing, even though this is not really designed for wood processing. So I just wanted to kind of talk about that. So we got about a three inch piece of wood here. We're going to see how it performs. Okay, so the good thing is that it's not wanting to fly out of my hand. Hand, The handle, you know, is just straight, doesn't have any hook or anything like that. It's got the paracord wrap on there and then the nice lanyard around my wrist. But I have yet to have to reset, so that's really good. It's definitely not biting in as well as other, you know, actual camp axes. I mean, the Fiskars X7 will, you know, chop three times as fast as this would. But the weight of the Skax is a really good weight. So it is, you know, coming down on this piece of wood real quick, real fast, and heavy. But you can see how difficult this is. I mean, my BK9 would be a faster chopper than this. And uh, my BK9 weighs less. So let's see here if I can 
finish this up. So you can see that the Skax 4 is not really designed to be a wood processing tool. Uh, there are going to be much better options out there on the market for you. Okay, so let's go ahead and we're just going to test out the spike on the Skax 4. You can see I've already done a little bit of work with it. This thing is definitely, it's not sharpened, but it is razor sharp. You can see, very tough and durable. It's going in about an inch with each strike that I'm hitting this piece of wood with. So you could definitely, you know, punch through a car window, obviously, car door, you know, those type of things. Uh, definitely gonna go right through, um, you know, a helmet probably into someone's head if you had to. So, I mean, this spike piece is definitely a lethal weapon and can definitely be used, you know, to penetrate either probably light steel um, you know, or wood doors and those type of things for a breaching instrument that spike works great. Okay, so I just want to do a quick carving test here with you guys. Just kind of show you the edge is very wide on the Skax 4. I have resharpened it uh, with one of my sharpeners and gotten the, the grind angle a little bit narrower, but it had a really wide grind angle to help, you know, with keeping it from chipping and rolling. So I brought it in a little bit. Uh, the neck is really nice because I can get a really good grip on the head and then, you know, you can put your index finger right there and this is how you'd be carving, you know, with an axe. And I just want to kind of show you, even after my sharpening, I'm going to have to keep going and really reprofile the entire edge if I were to do any sort of carving. So it's definitely not razor sharp and you're going to have to definitely spend some time. And again, because it's really tough steel, because of the heat treat they do over there, which is good, you want that with an axe, you know, or some sort of, you know, bludgeoning tool, which is what this tomahawk is. Uh, the downside is it's kind of a pain in the butt to resharpen, and it definitely doesn't have, you know, a shaving sharp edge out of the box. You're going to have to definitely put some work in it to get any sort of, you know, carving or, you know, shaving done with it. But this is very comfortable. I can do this very easily and feels really good in my hand while I'm doing this. So I could get some feather sticks going if I got, you know, a really good reprofiled edge on this tomahawk. Okay, let's look at the sheath. It's a very basic nylon sheath. Nothing fancy about it. You got a little belt loop right here. Then how you feed this in, it kind of has the big wide open mouth up top. You would feed your Skax 4 through. The handle goes through the bottom and then you pull your blade through, snap the buttons, and you're good to go. Right on your belt, but to show you here, if I'm putting this on my belt, you can see it goes all the way down to my kneecap. So this is definitely not designed really to be carried on uh, you know, your belt. You're either going to want to carry it in kind of a sling, make some paracord and feed it through that belt loop, uh, or, you know, attach it to a pack or something like that. It's just really big and cumbersome and, you know, at over a pound and a half to try and carry this on your leg and go hiking with it or, you know, running and gunning with it. I think it's a little preposterous. Then again, you just pop open these. Then you got to grab the handle and feed it through to then remove the Skax from the sheath. So, uh, I mean, it does the job. And again, we're trying to hit a price point here. It's not bad. I would like to see maybe a little different design. I would have preferred to have it maybe at the bottom. The buttons pop open at the bottom, and then you can just pull it right out. It's a little cumbersome to have to feed it all the way through. So 50-50 uh, on the sheath on the Skax 4. All right, so now that you've seen the video and seen some of the usage with the Skax 4, you're asking yourself, all right, so what is this tool good for? What are the uses? Uh, honestly, it's going to be purely a tactical self-defense knife uh excuse me axe that, and tomahawk that's what it's designed for so if you're in the military and for some reason you feel like you need that or you're law enforcement um you know home if you want you know you don't want to own a gun and you don't want a baseball bat this would be a great you know self-defense weapon if you needed to uh, i mean that's really what it's designed for is hand-to-hand -hand combat uh, you know, I would definitely practice with it if you are planning on doing it. Just don't think that you know what you're doing because you do have a spike on the opposite end. You could really hurt yourself if you're, you know, swinging and doing all sorts of ninja moves and you have no idea what you're doing. You could really hurt yourself. But for a tactical tomahawk, I think it's a really good bargain and really tough and durable because I have had in the past the SOG tactical tomahawks, uh, both the mini fast hawk and their normal sized one. This is bigger and heavier than the normal sized SOG tomahawk. 
Uh, and what I like is that it's a full tang. It's all one piece with that rubber coating over it or that nylon um, fiber over that full tang. So it's much tougher, you know, and durable than those SOGs. And the 3CR13 uh, steel is definitely tougher than the 420 that SOG uses on their Tomahawk. So you're going to get a better deal, I believe, and be a more durable, tough in fighting instrument or, you know, breaching instrument with the Skax 4 than you would with, the, say, a SOG Tomahawk. So uh, if you are into Tomahawks, you know, you know how to use these or you want to start to practice and get into that and uh, you really want to are looking for a, an actual, you know, self-defense Tomahawk, I think the Schrade Skax 4 will be right up your alley. If you're looking for a wood processing tool, look somewhere else. So I hope this review has helped you guys out. Thanks so much for Watching. Well, everyone, thank you so much for watching this particular episode of Gideon's Tactical. Please subscribe, comment, like the videos, share the videos, and check out our Facebook page. You can find it on the YouTube homepage of Gideon's Tactical. Like our Facebook page where you'll get updates of upcoming videos. Uh, you'll get photos as well as upcoming gear, new gear releases, you know, that products and companies that uh, are released, as well as behind-the-scenes footage and bloopers that you'll never see make it to YouTube. So thanks so much for watching, everyone. Stay equipped, stay prepared. We'll see you out there.